What is going on, good people? This is the week number 14 Saturday last minute news show where I'm going to break down all the the latest player news that you need to know about walking into week 14, the fantasy football show. It begins right now. This is the fantasy football show with your host, Smitty. Okay, so first player we'll talk about real quickly. You know, you probably heard this on my other show uh, yesterday that uh, DeAndre Swift is no longer on the Week 14 injury report. Get him in your lineup. He is a running back one walking into Week 14. There's no concerns whatsoever right now about DeAndre Swift playing a full workload. And he he outsnapped and outtouched Jamal Williams for the first time in Week number 13. So fire up DeAndre Swift. Yeah. Yeah. Time to rock and roll, DeAndre. Time to rock and roll. Take a lap. Okay, DK Metcalf uh, is supposed to play according to Pete Carroll. That's great news. A lot of people worried about DK in this game with the hip. He'll play week 14. Fire him up. Uh, Debo Samuel no longer on the injury report. That's great news for Debo owners. We do know we still suffering from a quad like McCaffrey Debo will probably show up on the injury report next week with the same thing I don't know why they they take him off we know that that McCaffrey's still dealing with the knee injury he's off the injury report for week 14 so fire up McCaffrey without any concerns fire up Debo and this one's kind of impacting on a lot of levels Nick Bosa questionable for week number 14 if Bosa sits, that means Tom Brady's job will be just a little bit easier on Sunday, which means Godwin will have a better day, which means Evans will have a, a better day. It'll trickle down amongst all the players. Even Rashad White will have a much better day if Bosa is out. So know that. Keep an eye on that. I think he's trending a little bit more in the direction of playing, but he is clearly a 50-50 you know, uh, call because of the questionable tag. <laughs> Pete Carroll refuses to rule out Kenny Walker, but for right now, um, I I don't think he plays. Very, very long shot to play, but maybe maybe there's something going on we don't know about. Expect to be without him, but for some reason, Pete Carroll is not ruling him out yet. Maybe there's hope. I don't know. J.K. Dobbins will return to week number 14. I wouldn't get your hopes up. This is a, a trap type running back situation from week to week but if he's out there grab him he is potentially a starting running back and that's not that's not something to to leave on the waiver wire geno smith is not on the final injury report which is great news deontay johnson was cleared we were hoping for pickens sake that he he would maybe take a day off and give pickens more targets but it looks like uh, deontay will be playing i guess play deontay if you're you're desperate but you know depends on your dilemma Leonard Fournette is questionable for week 14. Uh, If he sits, even if Bosa plays, Rashad White's value goes up quite a bit. If Bosa sits out, Leonard Fournette sits out, and Rashad White is the only starter in the backfield in Tampa Bay, he blows up. Geno Smith is no longer on the injury report. That's fantastic news for those that have been worried about that. Geno's a a pretty solid play this week. And Trevor Lawrence is also... Uh, expected to play week 14 with the questionable toe injury tag, but he's supposed to be fired up. That is it for right now. That will catch you up. You should know all you need to know to go dominate your league. Your boy Smitty's here Monday through Friday for you. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm live whenever news breaks, and I'm also live Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at midnight Eastern, and I'm also live on Sundays a couple times on Sundays. I'll see you all on the next one. Oh, and get on over to thefantasyfootballshow.com for your year-round predictions, your articles, your trade calculators, dynasty, redraft, super rookie, and one-on-one text device. All of it at thefantasyfootballshow.com. Now, now, now get out of here.